So for different products, you need different cables and then the setup. So uh, let's talk about the uh, sound device first. Okay, so um, you see now we got like the 633 and also 688. And then uh, what you need to do is, okay, now uh, my, um, my technical sync is already put in like uh, the time code with the one zero at the top. So what you need to do is find the correct cables. So for all the uh, six series from sound device and then the time code is actually the, um, the limo connectors. So you get, when you get the correct limo connectors, what you need to do is just like maybe connect it up, okay. And then you uh, just connect the, uh, the time code in here. So once you connected the time code, and then the time code will be jammed into the uh, the correct time codes. But the fact is, if you pull out the, um, the cables and then it stop because okay, because your time code is being set into external TC. But if you want to just like maybe use this uh, technical thing onto another unit, you can actually go into the uh, um, the external TC slash continues. So once you do this, okay, and then you can actually put on like maybe um, the time code again, and then it jump into the correct one. Then okay, you can just like maybe uh, take it out, and then the uh, the time code will be continuous. So I will do it the same and underneath. Okay, so I just go to time code, okay, time code mode, and then TC slash continuous, okay, and then okay, I put on. Um, connected and then jam you see the time code is already been jammed it's pretty easy so then you can pull the unit out and then use it use this technical sync on the other unit but it's always good that okay if you connected with the uh, technical sync all the time and then the time code will be more accurate When you sync the camcorder, make sure that like maybe different camcorders have different connectors uh, to do the uh, time code. So for example, like this X180, and then they are using the uh, the BNC input, which is the same as the F5, F55 from Sony, and also Ari from uh, uh, Ari Mamira, and then they are also BNC, but some uh, of the other unit, and then maybe they are using Limo. So make sure that you are choosing the right connectors. For these situations, we need uh, BNC to meet mini jack and this cable can do both way which you can actually jam in a time code or jam out a time code to connect with the others so okay so let's do it so first okay you need to have like a technical thing and then this unit and then flashing in green color that means okay I have a time code in here so what I want to do is actually jam the time code into the x180 so on the camcorder make sure that you go to the time code and then okay set to mode is preset and also is actually free run so now the time code is a zero zero. My one is one zero. So what I need to do is just okay, connect this BNC onto the connector, and then make sure that like this unit is in in. So now okay, I'm already jammed the uh, time code into the unit, and okay, you can check before that, and then I've also using the same technical thing with uh, to jam the uh, sound device. So now the audio mixer, the sound device, and also the uh, X one eighty now in the same pace. For sure, make sure that your frame rate is in the same one, so which is now at this moment is 25 frames per second. So for some camcorder, and then they can do the time code in and also out. So let us do the time code out, so using this camcorder, which is the X180, as a master time code and then to sync to other, other units. So we are using the same units. Uh, same cable like this and then on the unit on the uh, X180 you will see the time code is now is zero zero okay so what I need to do is switch on the technical thing and then you see the red light so that means actually it's uh, waiting for a time code to jam into the units okay so now I connected in it okay so then okay make sure that your time code for example like this one is is uh, turned into out not in so then okay I put the time code connectors and then when I connected and then you see the lights is from red and then turn into green fresh so that means the time code from the X180 is already jammed into the technical thing okay so you disconnected and then I use the sound device cables which is a limo and then okay I connected to the uh, to the unit so okay when I plug it on so now you see the both time code is different but then okay once I connected the time code in here okay 
So you will see now the time code is actually sync. So now I'm showing you that is the using the uh, camcorder master time code and then to do the uh, sync with the other unit. Okay, so this part we are talking about like maybe how, okay, for some product you cannot, you don't have like maybe uh, the time code in and out and then how can I gen a time code into maybe those kind of products. So for these situations, you do need to using the, uh, the audio time code in. So how to do it? Okay, so what you need to do is, okay, first you have like a technical thing here and then which I have a time code and then the other thing is you need to have like maybe a, uh, XLR light, maybe a connector like this and then what I need to do is I, I will occupy one channel from your camcorder and then which sending a bit into the uh, into that channel so when I put it into the post and then I can use the technical sync software which I can actually just like using the audio time code and then to sync into the uh, into the different device so it's pretty easy so before I connect it and then make sure like maybe uh, your technical sync is actually turned into the correct like uh, audio tone so in the apps and also on the software you can actually set either is mic or line input so what situation you need line what situation you need mic okay for most easiest way is all the product if they don't have the tc input and then you better go to mic and then the other way okay if you have like the limo input or if you have the pnc input you can go to a line so it's pretty easy so now okay i set up okay i connect this into the um, one of the channel from the uh, uh, fs5 so once I connect it, and then you will see the input two, and then it's changed into the. Uh, you will see there is a there is a audio tone here. So on the headphone, you will hear there is a there is a, a sound here, a bit sound. Okay, but okay, don't worry, because when you go into the post, especially when you put in put this footage into the uh, technical sync setup, and then or the software, and then you can actually just like maybe wipe out that tone and then you can using that time code and then to sync with another unit. So for the hardware wise, this is, this is it, it's pretty easy. But make sure that, okay, because you don't have a time code in, so that means, okay, you have to put your technical sync with your unit all the time to make sure that you have constantly uh, have, a, have a time code into the uh, audio channels. So for all the uh, DSLR, so if you got the uh, audio input like the A7S, like this one, or A7S2 or 5D Mark III, Mark IV, and then it's, you can actually put on uh, audio time code in onto the, your products. So let me show you. So on this A7S and then you have like the audio in, okay, now, okay, I got a technical sync which have a time code inside. What I need to do is just a normal like maybe a, a stereo cable so I connect this onto my technical sync on the other side I put this into the mic so now you will hear actually uh, a tone inside so now you already jam the uh, audio time code into the uh, um, your A7S or your DSLR so but you will say okay oh you are already occupied my uh, my mic and then can I actually how can I put on like, maybe another channel into my uh, uh, DSLR. So if this is a case and then you need to have like another cable like this one. So I can show you. I just plug, I unplug this one. Okay, so I plug this back into the unit and then I plug onto the technical thing here. But you will see the other side, okay, I can still put on like maybe a audio product, for example, like a shotgun or whatever, or clip mic onto this unit, and then I can still have the channel two, which is the, uh, which is, uh, is a clear audio, and then the channel one is probably the uh, audio time code. So it's pretty easy. So at a pose, and then you can actually using the technical sync software, and then to sync the, uh, uh, the audio time code, and then with another unit, for example, like the uh, uh, audio mixer, like the uh, sound device 633.